It has begun. Welcome back. I don't know why it's raining up here because the clouds are down there. I'm above the clouds. It should not be raining. Oh, look at that. If you jump, the rain kind of glitches out. But yeah, welcome back. This is episode 127, I think, of my journey series. Wait. Isolated showers? Why is it why is it raining over here and not here? Is that oh it must be biome related. I didn't know rain was biome related, but as you can see Well I've never actually seen that before. You can actually see the rain falling over there, but you can't see it over here. Like in modern Minecraft versions that just doesn't work. You just don't see the rain until you're in amongst it. But yeah, this is the first rain uh, rainstorm that we've had. It looks um just as you would expect, apart from the whole jumping around thing. But yeah, I'm sure you can guess what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get the one kilometre um, rail achievement thing. On a rail, that's what it's called. I'm just setting up a temporary... Oh look, it started again. Yeah, isolated showers are clearly a thing in beta 1.5. Um, but basically I'm just setting up a temporary rail area. And we'll get we'll get all these back, but we're doing it by my uh, my house over there, my mansion. And yeah, hopefully we can obtain the achievement. And yeah, it was easy to set up because we started by the each road, so I just needed I used that as like a base. And we I'm actually it's fifty blocks short or something, so I'll just have to go and get fifty more pieces of dirt, and we'll be all good. But yeah, this is the uh, this is a situation at the moment. And yeah, I just thought I would show off the first uh, downpour. The first downpour in uh, in this world. To be honest, I quite like the rain. I know rain's one of these things that, you know, people don't like, or toggle it, kind of thing. And I know it's probably bad for video, but... I don't know, it just adds a bit of atmosphere to the, the game. People talk about the, the game needing ambient uh, more ambient sounds. I mean, this is a good start. I think the rain adds a lot to the game. The rain in Spain mainly falls in the plain. So this was pretty funny. Um, I didn't intend to record much of the setup, by the way, but it started raining, so I thought I'd show that. Also, as you can see, I um, placed a lever in a rather peculiar position. It looked very strange because I saw it like this, and it looked like just a small piece of cobble, but as you can see, it's actually a full-on lever. Um, what happens if we click it? And it actually works. Which is incredible. Uh, I don't have any redstone, so we can't really try it. What happens if we break this? It stays... Okay, <laughs> it's still there. That is actually hilarious. I know it doesn't sound like I find it hilarious, but genuinely it's hilarious. I think I've seen this before actually, but we've now got a floating lever in our world. Who knows, the block might get updated and uh, it might... Yeah, it'll break at some point, I'm sure. But, as you can see, I'm just finishing off this rail track for us to get the order rail achievement. Um, I actually had plans to build a rail track for my base, or basically that goes through all of my... all of the terrain, all of the different terrain. So we have like a tour of terrain, if that makes sense. Um, so we might do that at some point, but... Uh, not, not, not now. This is this is unofficial. This is an unofficial rail track that I will be removing at some point. Um, oh, we've done it again. That's too far. I don't know how we did it. Oh, we placed it on the slab. That's why. Okay. Well, maybe we can set up a a floating lever in another room or something in the museum. Maybe we don't really have a place in the museum for stuff like that. But I don't know. We could add it in the 1.5 area. It'll be like this is this was a glitch, uh, basically. So I was kind of thinking of going down to my house to get some wood to uh, make a boat and take the each road back to my my own base, my alpha base. Yeah, <laughs> we've got a slight problem. <laughs> Look at the amount of mobs down there. Uh, I'm all I'm going to say is there's no chance we're getting through all that. There's no chance we're getting through that. I think the reason is because I was over the water. There's less mobs over there, to be fair. Let's make a run for it. The spider's going to see me. The only weapon I've got is a spade, so it's not that good, actually. Oh, dear. 
Let's bat the guy. Let's try and make it to my house. There's a bed in my house. Oh dear. Um, this might be. A, oh, there's there's multiple creepers. Multiple creepers and skeletons. And there's a creeper there. And there's a creeper there. I'm cornered. It's over. GG. I don't have any food. I do not have any food. Where am I going to spawn? Place your guesses. Where am I going to spawn? I think I'm going to spawn at my alpha base, actually. Oh, that was close. This was such a dumb idea. Alright, well. Oh, I just got slowed down there. There's a creeper on top of the tree there. Do not drop me. No, he's not going to drop. It's too high. Whoa, 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 I got stuck. I'm one hit from death. So here we are. Um, this rail track should be... It should be a thousand blocks, over a thousand blocks in length. I'm actually trapped here now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and get the on the rail achievement. And yeah, we'll see, see if we're successful. As you can see, it's the only one we don't have. But it's one that I really want. So it's actually over a thousand blocks. It's not exactly a thousand blocks. Otherwise, I would have missed like half a block or something. Um, but yeah, we get a nice elevated view. Why am I... Why have I disappeared? I think it's because I'm above the world tight limit here. Uh, oh, press the wrong button there. Yeah, 128. We're above the world tight limit. Hopefully this counts. There's our floating uh, lever right there. So this is obviously our old terrain, our older terrain, our alpha inf dev terrain. And there's actually not that much like new terrain. In fact, I don't think there's any. You might see some. Um, but yeah, you can see you can see my player model here, my arm and all that. But yeah, this is what I want to do at some point, maybe later in the series where we've got more like versions down. Is I want to have a long rail track that goes from like old terrain to you know like more modern terrain. I think that would be pretty cool. And this is the part of the track where, as you can see, I've just used the detector rails to activate the power rails got that the right way around <laughs> in other, in, on another day I would have said I've got the power rails activating the detector rails but uh, no, got it right and we're passing my house just down there, I did survive the night if I included that in the footage, I did survive the night, it was dark and full of terror but I did survive and we started at minus 307 on the Z Currently at 500, which means we're about 800 blocks into it. And now we're crossing the the ocean, the river, the puddle, whatever you want to call it. And the newer terrain is just over there. You can see it coming to the, uh, the horizon right now. And I just went ham with the power drills. It doesn't feel like it goes any faster though. Hey, we got it. Top right of your screen there. On a rail, achievement get. So, that means we've beaten the game officially, end of the series, thank you for watching all, and I'll see, no I'm kidding, right, anyway, the only issue is, I think if we get out, we're going to fall, yeah, I didn't think about that, did I, uh, we'll, we'll have to try it, won't we, oh, that's good, right, so now I've got to clean this up, because I need these rails, <laughs> I've, I used my entire gold supply on these rails, I need these rails back, so, that's my job for the next uh, few hours. Also, um, the uh, what I'll probably do off camera is I'll work on one or two other rail tracks in the Nether, specifically one from my alf, uh, one from my beta base to the sand area where, where I get my sand from. I'll probably do that. So I'm having more troubles. Uh, as you can see, there are very few mobs in the mob system. I think I have a sol uh, well, not a solution. Well, I do have a solution, but I think I found the source of the problem. If you look over there, what are those? I'll give you three guesses. Actually, you'll probably only need one. Look at the way they move. Just up and down, up and down. What are they? They're slime, of course. So it seems like slime are taking over the passive mob, uh, the hostile mob cap. And so it's probably a good idea to make attempts at stopping this, preventing this from happening. We've also got a creeper in here which I was totally unaware of. We'll have to yeah get rid of that guy. 
Anyway, where are they? They are... They're all down there. I think I know where they are. Right, this is our entrance point to where the uh, where the slimes are. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I'm not going to get back up, am I? Rats. So I have died. Basically, I was working on the rail tracks in the nether, which I'll show off in a minute. But as you can see, the motion of me going downwards is very... Uh, it's stuttering, which is... Bec well, the reason for that is because ladders no longer work like this. But yeah, I was working the rail tracks and I actually died. I lost quite a bit of rail. I was very, very salty. But what can you do? How did I die? I was I basically broke the mine car under me and I fell through the floor and landed in lava and I had no armor. I had no chance basically. So yeah. Right, well we've got some stacks of uh cobble slabs here. As you can see we do have oh yeah, this is where they all are. Jigs. Now, you don't, yeah, they, they don't break up if you use a sword. You've got to use your fist, I think. We can test out this guy. Yeah, see, that guy broke up. Do you get the slime? You get the slime balls if you use your sword on the wee guys. But that guy never broke up. This guy won't break up because I used my sword. I mean, I'm not that bothered at the moment. You know, we, we don't need slime just yet. We just need to get rid of them. That's, that's the point. One of them actually killed me here a while back. I'm pretty sure I, I've already said, but I was, um trying to pick up lava and then one of the bump I was one of the wee ones because it did damage me but it bumped me in lava here which was fantastic right we're gonna have to just get this is oh yep they're that dangerous they are that dangerous but yeah we're just gonna have to get started on making this place slime proof it's gonna take a bit of work but I'm no as I said I'm no stranger to having to half slab areas in order to stop mobs uh, Spawning. So currently I'm just uh, smelting up some more glass for use in the tunnel. Uh, I'm not sure how long this episode is, I haven't started editing it yet. If there's time, I'll continue digging that. If not, this will be the last action of the day. So, um, first of all, I got rid of all the slime chunks down there. There should be no more slime spawning. Um, I'm guessing the reason there was a lack of uh, mobs down here was because it was night time last time. Now you will notice there's less string here. We've only got one string out of that. Part of the reason for that is because I've actually changed the killing system. As you can see. Can those guys actually see me? So this is what we've got going now. Um, it's one of these ones that if we want more string we need to have a drowning trap instead. But this is just quicker. Uh, the reason I got rid of the old system was because spiders were climbing. Basically I went AFK for a long time and there were spiders and if you remember there was a couple of blocks here and then the drowning trap was here. Basically the spiders had got stuck here. There was like 80 of them or something like that. They were taking up the entire spawn camp. Well that's in place for now just as a solution. The thing is I don't, I'm not really looking for string. You know I've got, I've got a sheep farm that will provide more than enough wool. I've got loads of string already, I've already got, I've got a spider farm, I've got a spider arena, so there's plenty of ways we can get string. Um, these chests up here are filling up quite nicely, as you can see. This is the problem. Oh yeah, these guys get out occasionally, but I'm not that bothered. Um, but yeah, this is, the, this is part of the problem of uh, pork chops not stacking, is you get left with quite a bit, quite a bit of excess. So, uh, what have we been doing in the nether? Well, a few things. First of all, as you can see over here, I didn't actually bring any minecarts. Oh, I actually do need minecarts, but I'll get them in a minute. But basically, as you can see, we've got a rail track now going this way. This was what I died at. Uh, basically, I set it up originally against the wall, but I found that the minecart, or the player, sorry, clipped, to, clipped the wall as... I went past and that would slow down the minecart and so I had to bring it out one block as you can see so it no longer clips the side of the wall. Um, I've got redstone torches here powering these. I could use levers but I thought redstone torches would look kind of cool. Um, it works. It's Minecarts aren't that fast. They're certainly not as fast as they are today. Uh, today the, the momentum, the velocity is a lot greater and you can get going at great speeds if you've got the right amount of powered rails. I believe there was a snapshot where you could get going at an uncontrollable speed, but I, I don't remember, honestly. So we got that track. As you can see, we've got glass above it to stop pigment from spawning. Uh, and I've done the same here. This is good, although there is a few flaws. For example, 
if I was to set a chest, a storage minecart down here, and it was to stop here, and then I was to follow in a minecart, there'd be no way out, basically, and I would basically hit a crash against the storage minecart and go back without being able to do anything. That's what I think would happen. So we'd probably have to get rid of one or two blocks here, which I could do. Uh, I might in future. This is what it looks like when you're inside the glass. Uh, basically, it looks like there's a hole in the wall, but you don't really notice it. I mean, you kind of see the uh, the cursor over the the glass down here as you as you move along, but you don't really notice to be honest, which is nice. You notice a lot more the diagonal. A track, but this is this is perfectly fine. So I was actually editing a recent episode, and I found out that I had actually completed uh, two of the exhibits in the museum here, the Patch Museum. As you can see, uh, we never actually added spruce or birch wood uh, or logs. Sorry. So that goes in beta one point two, which we can get to here. As you can see, I, I walked in here and there was two missing spaces, and I was like, "What went there?" And uh, yeah, of course, it was this stuff. Let's put birch wood first because uh, because I want to. There we go. Birch wood feels more classic than that. I don't think that's true. It's just I was always used to seeing this from the demo world over this, and so that's why I kind of have you know oak as being the first and this as being the second, even though they both came out in the same patch. Oh, look at that. Leaf decay rewritten. And that sapling's changed. What? That's so peculiar. Okay, so as you can see, I have successfully completed the dig through the surface of the ocean. And I've made it all the way to the far islands. Uh, we're not going to work on the rails or the uh, the exit system. Uh, just yeah, I say exit system. It'll probably just be a flight of stairs. Um, but this is what we've got. I think it looks pretty neat. Managed to get the walls all done out of stone. And yeah, this will hopefully provide a bit of a, a transportation method to get to the the faraway islands so we don't have to uh, go over the water. That's the hope anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this here uh, because I feel like I've done a lot. I'm not sure. I've not edited this yet, but we'll see what the time is. Anyway, thank you and we'll see you later.